What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, back here with another video tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to import fonts to your PC. So right off the bat, I just want to say that I'm using a Windows 10 computer for this tutorial. Uh, this will most likely work with Windows 8 and Windows 7, and then if you're using Windows XP or Windows Vista, then I really can't help you. Um, so just know that this method is only going to work with Windows, not with Mac or Chromebook. So now that we have that out of the way, first step in um, importing a font is, well, to download it. So I do your web browser of choice, mine in this case is Chrome, so I'll just head here, and just searching fonts should give us a list of websites that we can use. Uh, Google has their own site for fonts, and then there are these private websites here. Uh, I'm going to use DaFont, because who wouldn't want to download a font from DaFont.com, and like uh, most of the font websites, you'll see uh, it provides a list of categories that we can use, and then it has like the recently added and whatever. So I'll just head over here to uh, sci-fi, and well, look at this, it is very relevant font right here, Mandalore. So I'll just download this. Uh, you can choose a bunch of sizes and stuff, but most of the time you just hit download, and it'll provide you with a bunch of different sizes that you can use. And once it is on our desktop, we can uh, just right-click it and uh, extract the files. I'll just extract them to the desktop, and this one gives us a bajillion different fonts to choose from. I'll just choose that and delete everything else because some font makers really like their font and they want you to have a million different versions of that font so you can use their font everywhere and they can basically tell people hey look that guy's using my font isn't that cool and most of the people are like wow i don't care that you made a font why did you make so many all right um <laughs> anyways once you have sorted of through any fonts uh if you want to use all the fonts you can use all the fonts and just use the same process i'm using here but in my case i just want to use one because I don't want to um, waste storage in my laptop with dumb fonts. So once you've downloaded, unzipped, and uh, sorted through all the fonts that the creator may have provided, uh, you'll head down to the search bar and type in control panel, and that'll leave you with this screen right here. And you'll head over here to appearance and personalization, and then down to fonts. And this will provide you with a list of fonts that you are currently using on your computer, and we'll just drag our font in here, and just a second, and it should appear if I search it, and there it is, Mandalore, right there, and to prove that it actually works, let me just open up this Word file here, and I should be able to choose the font from the drop-down menu right here, if I go down to M, it should appear right there, and now I can try to write, just test it out, and there we go, Baby Yoda in its beautiful Mandalorian glory in Word. And this, of course, doesn't just work with uh, Microsoft applications and software. It also works with um, Photoshop, Adobe, um, Animate, um, basically anything that uses a font on your computer, it will uh, appear. Now, that does not guarantee that the application will be able to handle or uh, use the font. I've uh, sometimes downloaded a font that I wanted to use, and, uh, well, this application basically said, no, sorry, you can't use that. It's not a provided font. So just keep that in mind. It'll most likely work with an application, but sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, that's basically it. If you have any font-related questions or comments about fonts or their appearance or the process of downloading them, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you have any recommendations for future videos, or just want to subscribe, show your appreciation, that would be uh, much appreciated. Uh, and other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful day.